Whoa, LE80, you are awesome. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Teddy B, VaporBeast.com, AKA Wizard of Vape, Director of Training and Support, and your one and only product specialist. And today I'm gonna talk with you guys about a brand new box mod made by Lotus Technologies, the LE80. This thing is a beast. The LE80 is not your typical box mod. If you're looking for a device that's outside the box, no pun intended, then the LE80 is definitely gonna be for you. The LE80 has the best of both worlds when it comes to box mods, when it comes to unregulated and regulated box mods. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the features, what you'll receive, how to operate it, and why I think it's beast. So let's vape it up and get started. All right, so let's get into the product features of this awesome, awesome device. So very first thing I wanna talk with you guys about is the spring-loaded 510 connector. So what does this mean for you? Basically, you don't have to adjust your pin on your kink or Addy. It is spring-loaded, so it should fit a majority of your tanks and Addies. Next up, I wanna talk with you guys about your shifter right here. Bam. All right guys, next up I wanna talk with you about the three-stage shifter on this LE80. When you receive the device, it's going to be in a neutral position, which is in the middle. That means your device is off. So if you're trying to fire and you hit the firing button, it's not going to fire, because it's in the middle. If you want it to operate and turn it on, flip the switch up to display your voltage, flip the switch down to display your battery life, and then the LED display right here is only gonna give you your voltage settings and your battery life. It does not have an ohm meter. So for anybody that's going to be using rebuildable Addies, please, please, please be sure to check your resistance on your ohm meter before throwing it on your LE80. Next up, I wanna talk with you guys about the voltage range and resistance that the LE80 can handle. Next up guys, I wanna talk with you about your voltage settings and the resistance that the LE80 can handle. So with your voltage settings, the LE80 can go all the way down to 3.3 and all the way up to 6.1. Now the resistance that the LE80 can handle would be as low as a 0.2 all the way up to a five. Now why someone wanna build a coil all the way up to five ohms? You got me, but hey, you can do it and the LE80 can handle it. Now for your voltage settings, with this little twist potentiometer, this is how you're gonna change your voltage settings on the LE80. And you simply just, like I said earlier, have your shifter switched up. And as you switch your potentiometer, you hit the button and it'll show you your voltage setting. Um, my only gripe with the LE80 is that I wish when I had my switch up that it would automatically already display my voltage setting aside from me having to hit the button. So if you really wanna know where you're at with your voltage setting, you gotta hit the button first to really see, um, and then you just kinda get it by memory. But I typically like to vape around 4.5, so 4.54. Ooh, God, I love this thing. All right guys, next up I wanna talk with you about some of the regulated features of the LE8. As I said earlier in the video, the LE80 has the best of both worlds when it comes to regulated and unregulated box mods. And right now I wanna talk with you about some of the regulated features of the LE80. First off, the LE80 has short circuit protection. So if there's a short going on in your coil, the LE80 is not gonna fire. The LE80 also has overcharge and discharge protection. So that means that if you have a battery that's overcharged and you put it in your LE80, or if you have a battery that's fully to the, is almost at the point of discharge and it's in your LE80, the battery shouldn't vent. Another cool regulated feature of the LE80 is that the LE80 has low resistance protection and low voltage protection, and it also has temperature protection. So if the device reaches temperatures greater than 120 degrees Fahrenheit, it will shut off. That is freaking awesome. Now I wanna talk with you guys about some of the unregulated features of the LE80. 
So, the LE80, the unregulated features. What really makes this LE80 an unregulated box monitor? How is Lotus getting away saying that it hits like an unregulated box mod? Well, this is my thinking and this is what I think is it is. All right, so first off, the LE80 has no 10 second cutoff. So you can hit this bad boy for as much as, much as your lungs can hold, you can hit this. I'll show you real quick. And that was just me because I couldn't hold anymore. So that's freaking awesome. Another thing, typically with regulated box mods, you have to click the button three times or five times to turn it on. With the LE80, like I said, up or down, hit the button once. And it's happy vape. Now I want to talk with you about the batteries that you use in the LE80. So next up, I want to talk with you guys about the batteries that you put inside your LE80. Uh, when you receive your LE80, it's not going to come with batteries. So what you'll simply do is you'll just slide your battery cover off and then boom, there it is. It exposes your batteries. Um, what's awesome about the battery cover on the LE80 is it has these two little magnets right here. So you don't have to worry about screwing your case on or screwing the cover off. It just comes off and on really, really easily. Um, batteries, you want to use two 18650 batteries. And you want to make sure they're high amp, high drain 18650 batteries. Um, if you're not sure, you can look at our website as a reference. But just to give you a quick overview of the batteries that you would want to use, your purple EFS batteries, either the 38 amp, the 30 amp, 35 amps, um, Samsung 25Rs, LG HE4s, Sony VTC4s, or even your LG HE2s. So those are the type of batteries that you want to put inside your LE80. And when you put your batteries in, they're going to be in a series, not parallel. Stay tuned for a video on the differences between series and parallel. And also, what's another cool, you, cool feature about the regulated the box mod on the LE80 is that if you have the LE80, for example, let's say you weren't paying attention and you didn't put your battery in properly and you thought that it was a parallel. So you put your both the batteries in the same way. You try to operate it, it's not going to fire. So that is a really cool safety feature for the LE80. Now I want to talk with you guys about how to operate the LE80. How are you going to operate the LE80? First and foremost, if you are new to the whole game or you're getting into the variable wattage box mods, the LE80 is not going to be for you. It's going to be a little too complicated. But for my vaping enthusiasts, my DIYers, or my modders are like me, the LE80 is going to be really simple to operate. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, like I showed you earlier, you put your batteries in, slide your back, back, slide the battery cover back on. Depending on what setting you want to be in. If you want to see your battery life or you want to see your voltage, you just flip it up, get your voltage setting to where you want to go, and you hit your firing button. This right here, firing button. This right here, potentiometer. Don't hit this button. That's what I did when I first got it. When I first saw the LE80, I thought this was the firing button, and I'm talking to the sales rep, and I'm like, it's not working. And he's all, because that's your firing button. So this is the firing button right here. God, man, I love this thing. I, I, I just love it. Okay, now I want to talk to you guys about what you'll receive when you purchase the LE8. So, what will you receive when you purchase the LE8? Bam! You get this awesome, awesome packaging. And you receive an empty box. Now I'm just playing. You get your LE80. I actually have it outside the box because I'm vaping on it right now, but you'll just receive the LE80. Like I said, it doesn't come with batteries, so you want to make sure you have your batteries. You want to make sure you have a battery charger. If not, then you want to make sure when you purchase your LE80, you're purchasing high drain, high amp batteries, and you're purchasing a smart charger like the EFES LUC 2-bay or 4-bay or a Nightcore digital charger. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about why I think this LE80 is beast. 
Why do I think the LE80 is beast? Well, let me tell you why. The LE80 is beast because it's not your typical box mod. If you don't want to be like everybody else rocking a 150 watt or a 50 watt or a 60 water, the LE80 is definitely going to be for you. It's not your typical box mod, and that's what I like about it. I also like the fact of the variable voltage. I mean, I get to play around with it. I'm understanding Ohm's law slash Watt's law, and the fact that I can get over, I can get well over 80 watts is pretty freaking awesome. And the price point is just insane for a box mod that holds two 18650 batteries. I mean, this is an affordable box mod. And yes, my friends, we do offer it for wholesale. So go ahead and give us a call, 877-821-6062, and ask to speak to a smoke-free technology consultant. Well, my friends, it's your boy Teddy B with PaperBeast.com reminding you to keep it beast. Rawr!